Good day, everyone. Well, it's out on uh, Early Access and Steam, Axis and Allies. Uh, if anybody recalls the old board game, uh, Axis and Allies 1942, one of my all-time favorite board games. So it, it's out Early Access right now. It's been uh, developed and published by Beamdog. Now, I did take a look at some of the comments, and there's some mixed reviews on it. And what I have to say, I've played a couple rounds already is if you've played the board game, there's uh, also many variants of that board game, you will definitely understand how to play the game. A few legitimate uh, comments I've seen is you don't get to really see what the enemy's doing when it's the enemy's turn. You don't get to participate in the rolling of the dice. I have to say I agree. I really don't like that, especially in a single player. I'd like to roll my own dice, whether I'm defending or attacking. But anyways, I think the game is actually really good. Uh, I said I've had two rounds, and we're we're gonna jump right in and, and check out Axis and Allies 1942 online. So single player, we're gonna create a new game. Uh, we're gonna play the 1942 second edition. As I said, there's many variants of the game. This is kind of a mix of a couple of the beginning variants. We'll click next. Uh, enter a campaign name. We'll call this Skins as per usual. Uh, standard victory conditions. We have to have. Uh, nine cities as axis. I'm, I'm going to left click here. I'm going to play both of the axis. We'll let the computer play the allies. I will also say, and I've seen it in the comments, that uh, every start is a bit different. And I have noticed that the computer does not do the same thing every uh, time it starts. So we're going to play as the axis and jump right in. Okay, the uh, game starts out with uh, Russia going first. Now, in the original version, uh, Russia would go first, but they couldn't attack. So this is a little bit later in the uh, war. So Russia starts. They will do a, a purchase of troops first of all, and now they will do a combat phase. We can also move around with the mouse. You can see him all moving in there. He's in a combat phase. Well, it sometimes it takes a, a few moments for them to actually do things, and sometimes they'll do a combat phase, move a bunch of stuff around it, and not do anything. I'm using the mouse wheel. We're going to zoom in. I like to play just so I can see the troops. Which we'll click here to follow the player, and uh, there, see, he decided not to attack after all. So this is uh, the non-combat phase. Mobilization is the placing of your troops that you bought in the first round. You can only place troops where you have industrial complexes. Okay, here we are. Germany's first go. So everything blue here is uh, Germany's. Now we want to try to get down here and get Egypt as quick as we can. Um, but first of all here we're purchasing troops. I'm actually going to purchase... I always do this. They're more for cannon fodder to keep them from coming in. I'm going to purchase a couple subs. And I think we're going to concentrate on uh, some tanks. We don't want an industrial complex yet. Just a couple, a couple troops here. And an anti-aircraft, which we can put on Germany to keep uh, bombing raids. So I think that'll be it. So we, we, we buy all our troops we, we want. And again, this I know there's people out there playing said, oh, you should have did this, you should have did that. You know what? Buy the game and play it. Play it. It's, it's excellent. So that's what I am going to do. So I'll end the phase. Go to next phase. So this is the combat phase. Okay, so we definitely want to get Egypt. They moved a bunch of guys in there. Um, we, have, we have a little bit here. So if we did attack in... Um, each unit has different uh, roles that it, it hits and defends at. Also movement. Infantry moves one. Tanks can move two. just want to see if we moved into Egypt. We can take one, two. We can attack. I think a uh, coastal attack with this. We also have a transport where we can bring some stuff over. You know what? I think I am going to attack. So what we'll do, this is how you use a transport. So I'm going to left click on the transport and then I right click on the units I want to take. I'm allowed two ground units. So I'm going to take this infantry and this artillery, and they won't let me land them there. And that's because this is here. I wonder if I go in with that. Okay, first of all, we'll do a cancel. So we left click on the transport, left click, cancel. 
see if we move this in here. Actually, let's try. There we can. Now we can take it in. So we'll move that tank, that infantry. So we already used the transport, so nothing will be able to transport over. We may be able to bring in some aircraft. Nope. Let's see if we can bring in a bomber. We can. Um, I'm going to bring in the bomber. Well, it might take it. We'll bring it right in. Okay, so that'll be my attack into Egypt. And we got some stuff happening here. All right. We don't want transports coming in. We definitely want to take Corella too, so let's concentrate on that move. So there's only one infantry. We'll move all three from there. We'll move the tank in. Again, left click to select, right click. That's the destination. You know what? I'm going to move one of those guys. I'm pretty sure we have that. Not a problem. So there's a fair amount of troops. We're not really, uh, we don't have too much force up here. We can, again, uh, blitzkrieg through with the tanks, two squares, but we're going to hold off. Uh, see how this first round plays out. Now we're definitely going to try to take out this stuff. This may be a bad move, but we're going to try. So four subs going in. We're going to take the aircraft in. Uh, uh, these always get waved out really quick. See if this can make it. No. Yeah. Um, let's do it. Let's take it in. Take in the carrier. Now also as part of that Corilla attack, you see we have another transport. Again, they, they always move in here and crush everything no matter what I do it seems. So we're going to use that transport. We're actually going to take two tanks. We may have to reselect here. I'd transport. It's like something different. Is that not going to work? Let's just cancel. All right, select the transport. We should be able to move two tanks. Well, I don't know why I wouldn't click that, but that's all right. So we'll left right click to move it into a uh, Corella. Okay. don't want to push an attack in here first uh, and weaken myself too much. Oh, that can attack. Well, I might as well use it up. Can that attack? Yep. Uh, actually, we don't want to I'm gonna leave that. Maybe this one can go up. Yeah, we'll take him up. All right, that's it. So we'll end the phase. And now we go into the actual combat. So we'll click next. All right, this battle. Okay, so these guys don't get to attack because we're still trying to take out this uh, uh, destroyer that's in the zone. So the battleship attacks at a four or less. Oh, of course we missed, of course. So two or less for him to defend successfully. Good, good. All right, press the attack. We need to. Four or less. Garrett, we got the hit. So he still gets to defend two or less. Nothing. Excellent. So the naval battle outside the amphibious assault was successful. Now we're moving into Egypt. So we get one out of one. Oh, we got a hit. That's always a bonus when that happens. Let's continue. We get two out of... Because the infantry has that artillery, they attack at a two. Nice, another hit. A tank at a three. Excellent. Now, this is a four or less. Let's do it. Yes, we took them all out. Now it all rests on how well they defend. So, two or less. Nothing. Three or less. One hit. So we'll take that infantry guy. Accept it. Four or less. We got a hit. We're actually going to take it on this infantry. Accept. Finish. All right, we'll move into the next battle. Corella, very important one. So we get uh, six at one. 
we get a hit, it's the bonus. There, we got it. Excellent. So he gets to defend at his two. Missed. Perfect. Everybody's into Krill. That's a nice uh, defense that'll set up in there, too. All right. Now, because our subs are submerged by themselves, there's no destroyers to detect them. They all get uh, like a bonus shot. So we get four at two or less. We got one hit. Now they had a sub, so they get one. But it's only out of one when you're defending in a sub. Oh, they got it. Go figures. So we'll take the hit on a sub. We need uh, three or less. We got three dice. We got more hit. And he gets to roll at the four or less. So he's probably going to get another hit. Yes, we'll take another sub. And we're going to press the attack. Okay, we get our submerged surprise attack. Two or less. There it is. So the sub's gone. And he missed. Just barely, but he missed. I'll take it. Yeah, that was quite costly. I'm glad uh, we decided to do that attack. I was wondering if I was... Ah, okay, so non-combat. Yeah, that's where we uh, just attacked. So now when aircraft attack, they have to land in a friendly territory. And it can't be one that was just taken. Um, I'm actually going to land them, I think, in Norway. I'm going to land these ones back in... Hmm... So let's start setting up here. Uh, that second aircraft can't go that far. Yes, it can't go that far. So we'll take him in uh, Belarus. There's only two guys. I hope we don't lose. Okay, so non-combat. Now we did take Egypt. That is excellent. Uh, this we'll land him in Libya. He can't go anywhere else. We'll start bringing these guys you know what? So I'm going to left click on him, open this up. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to leave him there, actually, just in case. So all those, good, good, good. This tank, I am now going to start moving up to the front if I can. Oops, I keep hitting the indust. There we go, got the tank. Move him to Bulgaria. This uh, troop from Italy, I'm going to move him up to France. One of those to Bulgaria. We got a couple more. Right that in there. Yeah, we need to get some uh, a front set up here and some defense. Just for now, I'm actually going to send him to Western Europe. Uh, I'm going to send these two guys up because we have a plane landing there also. Might as well. Let's just do. We'll keep our tanks back because if anything hits, we don't want to lose them, and then they can uh, counterattack. I think that's all I'm doing for non-combat. Keep those guys in Norway. All right, so we'll end the phase. Now we go into mobilization. That's all the troops that we bought the first round. So we got a couple subs. Um, you know, I'm going to keep a presence up here. I just, the anti-aircraft, we'll put that on Germany. So now we'll have two tanks. Um, I'm going to put two on Italy. They can, uh, again, move two. We can move them out. Just, and the rest of the guys we'll all put on Germany. And that's it for mobilization. We end the turn. And that just gives us a... Uh, Summary, well, let's get rid of that. So now the UK is going, and you can see it's doing a bunch of combat moves. They may or may not happen. We don't know. Okay, so some combat is happening. This is uh, right off the coast near uh, Manchuria or uh, Shanghai. Again, we don't get to participate in any of this. We just get to watch it. So it looks like we were defeated. And up near the uh, 
UK. Oh, it's Solomon Islands. No, this is the Solomon Islands. No. Okay, non-combat. You see lots of planes and stuff moving back. Transports and destroyers heading toward the UK. Some troop advancement. Dropping off troops in French West Africa, it looked like. Mobilization, so placing the troops. All right, Japan, round one. They get to buy troops. So we seen they took over Borneo. And they did an attack on the Solomon Islands right there and got that. Okay. Now, one of the things uh, I like to do when I start out with Japan is they have no uh, industrial complexes on the mainland. So everything has to be done by transport. So I'm actually going to buy one factory. I'll probably place it on Manchuria or maybe a uh, French Indochina Thailand to take out India, but we'll buy that for sure. And now we want a couple transports right off the hop. I only have one point left. Well, that's it. That's what we're buying and the base. Just one industrial complex and two transports, the whole move. All right, combat. Now, there's a little, we have one transport sitting here, so we'll, we'll left click him. We're gonna take this artillery, one infantry, we're gonna attack Alaska. We could move the battleship to help attack, but then they could potentially move up and take our battleship alone. We can't move this because he can't, uh, destroyers can't attack the land. A cruiser or battleships could. So we're actually going to leave him. Okay, so that'll be our first attack, Alaska. Let's see what's going on down here. We have a cruiser sitting in our territory. Let's, let's move the battleship and our destroyer into that zone to take out that cruiser. And we might as well take it in just to make sure we get it. Five troops. I don't think we'll be attacking that. We have two there. Actually, yes, we could probably do that. So let's take two of these guys. So I left, uh, sorry, right clicked at two times. So I left click to select them. I'm only going to move one forward. So I left click this, right click to send that fighter in. Got another fighter down here. Let's, let's send him up there too. I don't think we're going to attack anything else. Here we have a UK uh, aircraft carrier. On the first move, I pretty much always do this. I send in the aircraft carrier, battleship, left click on the aircraft, two right clicks to send them both in. Okay, what do we got here? It's a cruiser and a... I think I'm gonna suck back here and see if we can, uh, we'll take that transport out. I believe that'll be it for Japan. All right, let's end the combat and see what happens. Well, let's go to the first one, Alaska. It's an amphibious assault. And because our uh, infantry would normally attack at a one, but because they have artillery, they attack at a two. So we, two or less, excellent, we got him. Now, if he doesn't hit anybody, that's perfect. Great, so we got two units sitting in Alaska. Next, all right, off the uh, coast of Shanghai. Naval combat with a little bit of air support, so two or less. Got him. He's done. So he gets to defend still with three or less. And he missed. Perfect. Okay, next battle. Okay. Asia, general combat with a little bit of uh, aircraft support. So three at one. If anything hits, this will be a bonus. And we didn't get any hits. Now our main attacking, three at three or less. One hit. I was hoping for more than that. So they still get three uh, defend guys. Oh, no, sorry, they only had two guys. So one hit. Take an infantry. We'll just left click, accept. And we're going to press the attack. Again, if a one hits, that's a bonus. Nothing. 
three or less. Perfect. He still gets to defend that as two. He didn't get anything. Nice. Don't mind if you hear me swallowing. I'm actually drinking a coffee as I play. Hey, the sea around India. Taking out that aircraft carrier. Aircraft carrier is only attack at a one. Oh, we got the hit. But they defend at a two. Let's see. Uh, hopefully he doesn't hit anything. Great. It's been a pretty good opening, actually. We did lose Borneo and the uh, Solomon Islands. There's our combat uh, summary. So yes, we did really good. We only lost three IPC. Non-combat. All right. Any aircraft that attack have to be landed. I think... Hmm. Not quite sure which way I want to go. I think I'm going to land in the Philippines with the bomber. And we do have this aircraft here. They can hold two aircraft. He's only got one there. So I'm going to see if I can move... No, he won't reach. Mm, the attack. We can. We definitely want to put a second aircraft on that aircraft carrier. So for right now, we're just going to land them in. Uh, I'll be safe and we'll land them here. Okay. Let's take a look around. We have no transports to transport any of these men off. So again, that's why Japan needs the transports or. Uh, a factory on the mainland. I think I'm just gonna kind of hold it like that. They're, they're safe actually. I'll move these two guys forward. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We'll end the non-combat. Mobilization. So a we'll left click to get this factory. Um, I was thinking about French Indochina Thailand. I can only place two units every turn because it's only worth two. And that's the thing when you place the industrial complexes. Manchuria can produce three. So I'm going to right click and put it there. And uh, transports, put them right here to get ready to send, send men. We'll end the turn. All right. There's the turn summary. We'll just close that and let uh, the United States go. I notice when the United States play, you hear a lot of tick and there's a lot of movement. You're thinking, oh my gosh, what are they doing? And then sometimes nothing will happen. Okay, so we do have an attack. I actually suspected they would attack that. So I think we have two troops. I'll just... Again, we don't get to participate in anything. Not a big deal. Okay, mobilization is the placement. All right, so that's the end of round one. Uh, Russia goes next. Looks like they're going to attack Manchuria. Oh, great. We just put that factory there. I shouldn't have left it so weak. Great. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what happened again. Was... So non-combat, they should have got it. I'm pretty sure they would have taken it. I think I only had two guys defending. They had a troop placement. Again, a lot of clicking when they're placing, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, a lot of infantry going down, I'm assuming. Okay, so that's the basically the end of round one. We're in round two now, and we, we're back to Germany. Um, yeah, let's just put that down. So, well, yeah, we'll just take, uh, take it here, and we'll start round two.